Hey, everybody. Great having you with us here. We're off and running on this latest Sunday edition of Thoroughbred Action from Gulfstream Park. Jason Blewett once again from our clubhouse studios as we, believe it or not, cap week number six of the championship season. It's hard to, hard to imagine how fast time has gone from that opening card in early December, but we're rolling full steam ahead. This was a, a solid Sunday. I know we paid out the mandatory Rainbow Six yesterday, but there was a lot going on, including a, a number of high-level three-year-old Philly races on the program. And before we, we send it up the track announcer Pete Aiello for race one, we do check out the track and weather on this January the 10th. We are fast and firm. Couldn't have been any nicer for thoroughbred race. Racing. Horses were happy outside with the cooler weather, and we'll get it underway with the first race. We're on the turf with a group of a maiden claiming three and up. Got a big favorite in from the Big Apple down inside for Mike Maker and Arad Ortiz Jr., and here's Pete Aiello. Racing at Gulfstream. From the inside, Spiritual King gets the first call. Moving up on the far outside is Hoo-Ya! Racing between horses and Treasure Run into the top flight. Moving through between horses is Qe. Away racing in fifth is Big Perm. Next at the rail, it's Accessible. Racing inside of Jealous Eyes. Paired off at the back are Prince Valeski and Elbrus. In the charge around the first turn, Spiritual King gets clear to lead by two and a half. QE is second, Treasure Run is third. Hoo-ya! On the outside now, fourth. Back to fifth is Big Perm. On his back goes Accessible. Two path for Jealous Eyes. Down at the inside, it's Elbris and Prince Valeski's on his outside. Field separated by eight lengths in the run past the opening quarter. They went the opening quarter in 23-3. and three. It's Spiritual King and Tyler Gaffleone on top of length and a half. QE is second on the inside. Treasure Run a joint third. Huya's on the outside fourth. Moving up to take fifth is Jealous Eyes with Big Perm hunting racing room for Paco. Unhurried is the race favorite accessible. He's the gray third last. Second last is Prince Valeski and Elbris is the trailer. 47-3 and three for the opening half mile. Less than three furlongs to run. Spiritual King on top of length and a quarter. QE is second. Toward the rail treasure run now third. hoo Moving up on the outside. Big Perm hunting racing room while trying to get into the clear and they turn for home. Into the clear comes Big Perm. He's loose and charging at QE who just ran up to take the lead. Accessible is now in high gear and he's motoring home. Here's Accessible driving up on the outside of Big Perm to take the lead. Accessible wins the opener going away. Big Perm was second close for third. Either Jealous Eyes or QE. That was for you, Betty. We love and miss you already in 135 flat. Beginning from the center, C. Trident sent hard with Man of Vision moving up down at the rail. Here's one fast on the go, one fast to put a neck in front. The rest line up with strong ending on the far outside. Tamar between horses alongside Dream Doro. Gemmo's in a good position behind the embattled runners up front, and the early trailer is Handsome Prince. They pass the half mile pole and move to the far turn. One fast has the lead a half a length. C. Trident is second, Man of Vision is third. Gemmo traveling well into the race, but he needs some place to go. Strong ending giving up a lot of ground on that far turn. Three wide out there goes Tamar. A gap of two to the trailers Dream Doro and Handsome Prince as they round the far turn. Past the 5 sixteenths, One fast trying to braven up on the top end. He leads by a length and a half. Man of Vision is there second. Gemmo still carefully handled trying to secure some racetrack. Less than a quarter of a mile to go. They went 45 and 4 for the opening half mile. Gemmo getting ready to wheel to the outside of Man of Vision who's taking on one fast for the lead. Handsome Prince followed him through with an eighth of a mile still to go. Man of Vision is up for the lead. Gemmo didn't have much of a kick when he was called on. He's up into second now. Handsome Prince tries to catch one fast for third. Man of Vision, 9-5 to five and home a winner for Ron Spatz. Two clear in the end. Gemmo second. Handsome Prince third. Close for fourth. Either one fast or Tamar in 111-4.
simply super. He's polished us off an outstanding campaign with a dominant victory in the Malibu. No medication, no problem. Run happy, standing at Claiborne Farm. Noble enough beginning. Noble Empire away quickly from the outside draw. He's reaching out for early command. Sent through at the rail goes just like Mike. And these two race on just like Mike. Opens up now. He leads by two and a half. And second is Noble Empire from third. Magical Cause up on the outside. Liquid Louie. Skyline View is between horses alongside Tone Feelin. Then it's Calabash and three to the trailer. Bellamy's Treasure. The opening quarter complete in 23 and 4. That's a lively pace for the level and distance. And just like Mike makes the fractions under Luis Saez to lead by two and a half. Noble Empire is second with Calabash at the rail. Out wide on the course, Magical Cause stays in range. A length better than Skyline View. Then Tone Feelin' and Liquid Louie. And the trailer is Bellamy's Treasure. There's half a mile left to race, and just like Mike has the lead. Noble Empire is second, but Magical Cause clings to him. He's now third. Calabash is an all-in fourth. Skyline View's on his outside. They string out after that with Liquid Louie ahead of Tone Phelan and Bellamy's Treasure. 47-1 and one for the opening half mile. Just like Mike continues to put up the numbers. Noble Empire within a half a length. He's creeping closer now. Noble Empire just ran by just like Mike. Magical Cause was with the leader at the midpoint, but he's not now as the leader starts to get away. And that leader is the big chalk. It's Noble Empire through three quarters and 111-4. and four. He's asked to finish it up here. He's an eighth of a mile from home and five on top. Just like Mike is second. Magical Cause is third as this leader wanders, but he wanders well clear. I Red just points him in the right direction, and it's all over. Two to five on Noble Empire, and he's in front. Second is Magical Cause, Calabash with a good run. He dropped back and came again, and he might have got third over just like Mike. 137 and three. begins nicely up on the outside Mr. Kelly Diamonds enjoy being sent through at the rail and on the far outside it's took a cab then it's Capitan Fofo in between horses all inclusive looks for racing room and the early trailer is the stretch running road to peace down the back stretch they go Diamonds enjoy has the lead a length and a half I kick in second Mr. Kelly third Capitan Fofo next toward the rail followed out wide by took a cab all inclusive is between horses and three to road to peace 22 and 3 for the opening quarter. Around the far turn they go. It's Diamonds and Joy nursing a half length lead. I kick and draws up alongside second. Mr. Kelly is a three wide third. These top three have separation on Took a Cab, who's trying to rally for Prado as Mr. Kelly goes after Diamonds and Joy with a quarter of a mile left to go. Here comes Mr. Kelly up on the outside of Diamonds and Joy. These two through a 45 and 3 half mile. They turn for home together. Now there's an eighth of a mile to go on the outside. Mr. Kelly toward the rail. Diamonds and Joy tries to fight back for a little bit more. These two drop the gloves with a 16th to go. Mr. Kelly on the outside. Diamonds and Joy game on the rail. And Diamonds and Joy and Edgar Zayas grind it out. Second, Mr. Kelly. Third was I kick and fourth was Road to Peace. This was a good one and 111 flat.
beginning for Union Gap and ducking to the inside was password protected soon after the start. Sent hard is Flamingo Hawk from the rail. On to challenge, will take control. Malin on the far outside. He's put into play, and Pacific Legend is right alongside as they run out of the chute. Will take control and Malin, their heads apart. Pacific Legend is now third. Flamingo Hawk is at the rail fourth. Followed fifth by Spheroid, then in between horses, Houdini's awesome. Out wide on the course in Union Gap, now a Jaguar is second last. And after a less than stellar getaway, Password Protected is last of all, behind an opening quarter of 23 and 1. It's a pretty quick pace with less than five furlongs to race and will take control. Leads three parts of length. Pacific Legend is now second. Moline on the outside, third at the rail. Flamingo Hawk. He's keeping tabs on the leaders while racing fourth. Up between horses, Houdini's awesome. Spheroid is on the outside. Two back to Union Gap, then password protected, and now a Jaguar. Around the far turn they go. 46 and 2 for a strong half mile. Zaya starting to ask, will take control for more. Moline draws up alongside and Spheroid, three wide and on the go. Flamingo Hawk, he's the one who's traveled so well so far. He's now looking for some place to go. Getting started on the outside, and Houdini's awesome. Password protected, tries to run home. He's about five or six lengths behind after three quarters in 111 and four. With the advantage now, Spheroid toward the inside. Malin fights on. Now Flamingo Hawk has room to quicken, but he's not doing it. Down the center, and Houdini's awesome. Eighth of a mile to go toward the rail. Malin from between Spheroid. Down the center, Houdini's awesome. It's Malin with the advantage. Houdini's awesome up into second. Malin will win it. Second, Houdini's awesome. That's a Pletcher exact. A third was Spheroid. Then Flamingo Hawk in 138 flat. From the rail, Phantom Vision was away well. Up on the outside, runaway Rocket showing speed. And between horses, Miss Adeline taken back. Yaff is at the rail. Marching forward on the outside is Director's Cut. And the early trailer is Mia Martina. In the run to the first turn, Jose Ortiz puts Phantom Vision on the lead. Leads now by a length over Runaway Rocket in second. And Yaffa deciding whether she wants to stay put at the rail and she'll back off to land third. Outside and Director's Cut is on the tug from between horses Miss Adeline. And the trailer is Mia Martina. 25-2 and two for a very slow opening quarter. Phantom Vision tries to back him down. She leads by a neck over runaway Rocket, who keeps the heat on somewhat while second. Director's cut settled a bit better now. She's three wide third. Yaffa's out the rail in fourth, and it's Miss Adeline, and still nothing yet from Mia Martina. Half a dozen going a one mile and one sixteenth trip on the turf with Phantom Vision a half mile from home and a neck in front. Runaway Rockhead is second, director's cut three wide third. Yaffa fourth, back to fifth, Miss Adeline, and still last is Mia Martina. The pace picks up through a 49 and four half mile. Phantom Vision, well rationed on the top end by Jose Ortiz in front by a neck. One array Rockhead and Luis Zayas clinging to her three wide. Director's cut let go by Zayas for a run. These three across the course. Yaffa is next. Mia Martina swings into action on the far outside as they turn for home. Phantom Vision confronted by Director's Cut. They exchange blows with an eighth of a mile to go. Director's Cut on the outside. Phantom Vision toward the rail. Here's Mia Martina storming home. She runs them both down. Mia Martina and Irad Ortiz Jr. going away. Director's Cut was second. Phantom Vision third. Then Yaffa. Big run from the winner off slow splits. Went last to first. 142 and two.
to start was first hour. Quick to start was Caribe Bean Mocha and speeding down at the inside. Mademoiselle Nova moving up. Far outside goes simply the best. Off the speed is Bree Hazel with Madeira Wine on her outside. Gap of two to Zaffing, then comes Tharos. Two more to first hour, then it's strong moment. Estelina is actually last of all. Just ahead of her is Katir Rusia. They make their way now to the far turn. It's speeding up front with a neck advantage. Simply the best is their second. Bree Hazel at a big number, sweeping up three wide third. Mademoiselle Nova is fourth. These top four have gone well ahead of the others, led by an inside running a Caribe Bean Mocha. Nobody running home from the back as they make their way now to the top of the stretch. It's speeding who has the lead, and speeding leads by a length and a quarter. Mademoiselle Nova fired up on the rail and trying to get to her down the center is simply the best. Speeding's almost home. Simply the best. Mademoiselle Nova surging at her. Speeding is still there. Speeding is in front. Speeding wins. Mademoiselle Nova was second. Simply the best third to start the late pick five. Missed the start. Take charge dude away quickly. So was Weiser and Vincent William. Down at the rail, it's Northern. On the far outside, London Werewolf and a real scrum for early supremacy. It's a gap of two to Dr. Harlan. Then it's the race favorite, Karen's Cove. Yellow colors about five lengths behind. Marcelino is next with Acor out wide, then Young Raymond. And after blowing the break, Black Pepper is last. Past the half mile and moving to the far turn. It's a very quick tempo with Take Charge Dude putting up the numbers. Pass now by Weiser, three wide and on the go. Vincent William is next, a length and a half to Northern. Then it's a length and a half more to outside in London Werewolf. Two back to Karen's Cove, who's yet to kick it in. At the rail and Dr. Harlan trying to get started from the back is Young Raymond as they round the far turn and race to the top of the stretch. Take Charge Dude tries to fight back inside of Weiser. Northern is next, then Vincent William. Gaffleone asking the favorite to kick on. He's not doing it. It. Three sixteenths left to go. Weiser off the long layoff. The classy individual has the lead with an eighth of a mile more to get. Toward the inside, take charge. Dude has been defeated. Northern trying hard, but he's making no late impression on Weiser, who's clear to the finish. Weiser well prepared off the long layoff. He'll win by a length and a half. Northern is second. Third to Karen's Cove. Very close for fourth. Either Dr. Harlan or Igor. center. That's Queen of Shades who heads off for the early lead and quickly opens two and a half. Unicoi second. Roman Doro had to check for a stride or two. Moving out the rail, that's Choose Joy. Splitting horses in nightlife. Otne Dean trying to keep close to the embattled action up front and the early trailer is still alive. They make their way to the far turn. Queen of Shades on top at a big number. Leads a length and a half. Unicoi second. Choose Joy third. Nightlife fourth. Aunt Nadine will have to pick up her feet in a big way as Roman Doro just ran by her and at the back is still alive. 23 seconds for a reasonable posted opening quarter as Queen of Shades still has the lead. Roman Doro, she's the one to worry about if she can find room and she just found room. She cut the corner nicely and she has room inside of the leader with an eighth of a mile to go. Queen of Shades, she leads a length and a half. Choose Joy second. Roman Doro didn't fire through there when she had an opportunity in deep stretch. Queen of Shades trying to hold off. Choose Joy, who's lifting late on the outside. Photo finish. Did Queen of Shades hold on or did Choose Joy get her? It's an upset either way in 56 and 2.
start was run for the Munnings. Winning the start was Yoda Lehihu, who's headed off for the early lead. On the outside, our nation on parade. Sent hard between his shot tanker in the third. Mischievous Alex is going to get put in tight. He's going to have to back off and race from fourth. Length and a half to Admiral Lynch. Then comes Fortune's Fool. Epic Dreamers in the black colors nearest the inside. Cheryl Spite is second last, and after a bad break, the trailer is run for the Munnings. They make their way to the far turn, and up front, the leader is Yoda Lehihu on top three parts of length. To the outside and second, our nation on parade. Admiral Lynch. Let go. Three wide for a run. Third shot tanker. Fourth. Mischievous Alex still patiently handled while fifth. Trying to run home from the back is Epic Dreamer. Nothing today from Fortune's Fool. A run for the Munnings as they run to the top of the stretch. With the advantage, it's still Yoda Lehihu trying to repel challenges as Mischievous Alex is launched four wide and he's hitting high gear now. Top of the lane and here comes the big favorite, Mischievous Alex up to take on the leader, Yoda Lehihu. These two have kicked on, but Mischievous Alex going two to the one of his second rival, as they come home for the money, mischievous Alex back on his game, and he sharpened victory to win going away. Yoda who completes the Safi Joseph exacta. Third was Admiral Lynch, and then our nation on parade. A clean and level beginning. Soon after the start, it was Jouster who went looking for the lead at the inside Champagne Ivy, moving up in the center. Here's Italian Twin on the go, trying to get over from the high draws. Family time. Down at the rail goes Point Wild, just racing ahead of Never Content. Back from there, it's a tugging. Wow, she's on heels. Very ranked. Now down toward the inside, trying to settle down here as well. The race favorite is about six lengths off the lead. Then it's Goldie's Delight. Three wide went Deepwater K. Down at the inside, Miss Empirement is second last, and the trailer is is American. And the run around the first turn, Jouster has the lead and is traveling pretty well. A length and a half advantage on the outside running Italian twin who's now second. Champagne Ivy sequestered at the rail third. Followed fourth by family time. Fifth is Point Wild. A length and a half to never contend who races from sixth. Wow is seventh. Eighth and out wide is Deepwater K. Goldie's Denight is ninth. Tenth is Missed Empirement. Eleventh and last is Tis American. They move now to the far turn through the opening half mile of 48 seconds flat. Jouster has been in front from the outset and is sailing smoothly at this point. From the inside, Champagne Ivy now set to the attack second. Italian Twin is back to third. Lannery and Point Wild begin to make some ground. They're into fourth now. Passing family time, trying to run home from the back is never content. Wow has a ton to do and less than a quarter of a mile to do it in. And Jouster is opening up. Jouster after three quarters and one eleven and three. Look at her go. Jouster, the daughter of Noble Mission, is a long gone winner. Get out the wide lens for this one, Jouster in a powerhouse performance. Jouster is a double-digit winner on the turf. Second, Champagne Ivy. Third was Point Wild. Fourth in a photo goes to Never Content over Wow. Wow indeed for the winner, Jouster in 139 and 4. So that's it. Another week, another five-day racing week in the books. We are less than two weeks out 
to the January 23rd, fifth running of the Pegasus here on that Saturday, January 23rd card. Uh, PegasusWorldCup.com if you want tickets. We'd love to have you out here. And uh, no racing the next couple of days, Monday, Tuesday. Back at it this coming Wednesday with a 10-race card. We will see you then. Hope you're all doing well. And good night from all of us here at Gulfstream Park. Hit the hay. I've been working all day, hit the hay, hit the hay, what do you say, hit the hay, hit the hay, hit the hay, well I'm tired, let me tell you Jack, I'm so tired, oh my aching back.